Let the Corpses Tan is an interesting movie. It was technically made in 2017, but it only got a U.S. release this year. It's a French movie made by Belgian filmmakers shot in Croatia that is aping 70s Italian film. So this has got a weird feeling all over it. If you did not tell me that this was a French movie... I would swear it was Italian. This thing feels so Italian to me, and I think that was their intention. Plot itself is really inconsequential. It's it's a robbery where everybody's double-crossing everybody else, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. But that's that's essentially a side plot. The bulk of this movie is amazing set pieces, beautiful cinematography, gorgeous non-sequiturs, strange psychedelic stream-of-conscious visions... This movie really, I mean, the plot, this is a 90-minute movie, and the plot takes up about 25 minutes of this movie. The rest of it is these weird diversions, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, the plot is, you know, a robbery, and then everybody betrays everybody else, and then the police stumble upon it, and it's, the plot's nothing all that great. But the movie is just brimming with style. There's so much style in this. It is so beautiful. I don't know what the budget for this movie is, but it looks amazing. It also really brings out that 70s Italian giallo meets Polizia Shetty sort of vibe to it. I mean, you have sequences in this that really don't make a lot of sense in the film themselves, which you could pluck them out of context and put them into a music video, and it would totally make sense. And that's not a bad thing in this case. I I got a lot of different filmmaker styles. Now, I've never seen anything by these directors. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce their names because I'll just butcher it. I've never seen anything by them before. But certain parts of this look like 70s Orson Welles could have made it. Or 1990 to 1992 era Richard Stanley. I mean, there are parts where I said this easily could have fit into Stanley's Dust Devil as well as Let the Corpses Tan. Other parts that really kind of come across like, this is so Lucio Fool. This is late 70s, early 80s Lucio Fulci all over this. You also, strangely enough, and it's because this is not so much Tarantino's style, you could absolutely see that this is a movie that Tarantino might have made on a visual level. I mean, there's so little dialogue in the movie that, you know, whole stretches you can go 15 minutes without a single line of dialogue being spoken, which you'll never do in a Tarantino film. You see all these different filmmaker styles in here, all mixed in with this weird it's not a sci-fi plot, but there's strange sort of sci-fi visions at various points. It's kind of hard to describe. The editing is very creative. Not always in a good way, but it, it, this is not edited like a normal movie. It also is not the most subtle when it comes to the symbolism. It's a little on the nose. I'm guessing that's, you know, a French thing that, you know, the symbolism, we're not hiding it too much. This is what we meant this to symbolize. And then there's this weird editing and plot device of a clock. They keep showing us a clock because this movie is sort of told out of order. Not so much out of order as in you'll you'll see something from one character's perspective and then like he'll hear a gunshot in the background and then it'll it, the clock will swing back to show that other character's perspective where that gunshot came from so you can sort of piece everything together. So there's these constant inserts of a clock and it becomes a little annoying at first and then when I realized, oh okay, I see what they're doing with their, they're jumping around the timeline. I get this. I see what you're doing now the lighting i mean really this is a movie that is more about what you're seeing than what you're seeing this is a visual movie this is a movie like i said what if an orson welles movie fucked a richard stanley movie to help get off a fulci movie while a tarantino movie was masturbating in the corner that's sort of what let the corpses tan is like this movie is not going to be for everybody honestly i'd compare this movie to mandy not not in story or anything but in the fact that this is like a stream of consciousness dreamlike vision of of a movie that has almost a just a bare bones plot to it. Sometimes that can be really bad. I did enjoy the movie for what it was. It is a little pretentious. Okay, it's a lot pretentious and it's a lot got its head up its own ass, but at the same time, I appreciated this. Unlike a Christopher Nolan movie that tries to have its that tries to be artistic and comes across as vapid and empty, or a Terrence Malick movie that has its head so far up its ass it can taste colon, I actually think Let the Corpses Tan was a pretty good movie.